Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to have an alpharific day. Yes, I made that word up. That's fun to do. We're going to love God with all our hearts and treat others the way we want to be treated. Today I'm going to show you some activities that you can do at home to review the alphabet. But first, let's do the calendar. Let's find out what day it is today. All right, get your counting fingers out. We have to fill in this empty space right here. We're gonna start with one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Back to the left. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Back to the left. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, and today is number 28. A two and an eight. 28, and I'm gonna make it black because that is my pattern. Black, black, red, black, black, red, black. Oops, gotta change that, don't I? You saw that, didn't you? Black, black, oops. Black, black, red. There we go. That fits our pattern. Two blacks and a red. That means tomorrow's going to be what color? That's right, black. All right, so today is number 28. Let's find out what day it is. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. That makes yesterday, day before Tuesday, m -m Monday. Where did I put Monday? There we go, there's Monday. Monday was yesterday. Today is Tuesday. That makes tomorrow, wah, wah, wah. Tomorrow, the day after Tuesday is, yep, Wednesday. All right. So now we know it's number 28. We know it's Tuesday today. What month is it? A, A is for April, in the year 2020. Yesterday, it was rainy. It started out sunny and then it got very rainy. And I think that's what's gonna happen today. So right now it's kind of sunny and kind of cloudy. So I'm gonna keep the sun and the clouds in there and I'm gonna take out the rain for now because it's not raining yet. Is it windy today? Oh, a little bit, a little bit windy today. And it's just cool out. It's not cold anymore. It's not cold today. It's just a little cool. Would you like to know what, check at home and see what temperature it is. All right, so now we know it's April 28th and it is still springtime. So what would we do for the alphabet? Well, we would do our song, we would sing the alphabet. I know you can sing the alphabet at home. And we would read books. So we'd have lots of alphabet books. One of my favorites, Little Critter's Alphabet. Little Critter comes up with lots of good things for letters. I'll bet you have alphabet books at home. So I want you to get out an alphabet book and I want you to read it. Now you say, well, I can't read yet. Well, you can read because you can look at the pictures. And if I open up this book to any page, I'm just gonna open up any page. Huh, okay, what do I see? I have to look at that, hmm, what could that be? There's a spider and a spider builds a w w web. So now I can read that word, W is for web. W is for web, and you can read it. So I want you to try that. Get your alphabet book out, open it up to any page, and see if you can figure out what it says. Another activity that we would do, is so we would go around the classroom and find things that begin with each letter. And you can do that in your house. You can make a box like I did. I made an alphabet box. And in my box, I put things. Fan. F is for fan. Let's see what else I have in my box. B, B, B. B is for ball. Mm. 
You recognize that? It's a glue stick. G, 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 g. That's the hard G sound, glue. Now, let's see. Oh, here's one. It's a little one. What is that? It's a puzzle piece. P -p -p puzzle piece. So we would go around the room and find things that begin with different letters of the alphabet. And you can pick anything and figure out what sound it makes. And someone at home can help you with this and you can make an alphabet box. So in this box, I have something that begins with every letter of the alphabet. Ooh, you look cool. K, 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 k for kaleidoscope. Fork. F is for fork. Eh, eh, eh. E is for egg. Oh, let's see what else I have. Oh, how about... What shape is that? T, 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 triangle. T for triangle. So I'd like you to try this activity at home. All right. Hold on to your seats because I'm going to move you now. I'm doing this on my cell phone instead of my laptop so I could take you around the room. So I'm going to switch the view so you can see the room. I don't know if I can. Okay. So on our board here, we would take the alphabet and I would have you put it in order. See, it's all jumbled, kind of like the book Reminds me of, what's that book called? Chicka Chicka Boom Boom? Yeah, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? So I would have you find the letters and put them in order. And then match up the lowercase letter with the uppercase letter. You might notice that they're not all here. Some of them have gotten lost, but the capital R matches the little r. So that's another activity that we would do. Another one we would do is everybody would get a library book. Everybody would get a library book and we would all open up the pages to the same letter. Everybody would get a couple moments to find their letter. If I said letter C, everybody would open up their books and find the letter C. So that's another thing you can do with your alphabet books at home. Another thing we would do is check out our rug. We would go to our rug and we would find the letters on our rug. So we got W. Everybody would find a letter. And you'd stand on a letter and find and tell us what it is. So there's lots of things we would do. So our classroom kind of looks the same. We got everything here just thought you'd want to take a look at it um, we have our alphabet up on our string and we would do that and we would go to our poster here and write down a word for each letter and i would pick somebody to write a word down maybe we would choose animals and we would find an animal that began with every letter of the alphabet or a movement or anything in our classroom, anything in your box. So there's lots of different things you can do to review your alphabet at home. All right, I'm gonna go now because I'm gonna get another lesson ready about seeds and I'm gonna read you a book. Have a great day, see you soon, bye.